Okay, here we go. Day two. The day when all of the problems of the first omelet are remedied. So we're going to start off, same deal, get those eggs going. I watched a couple of other videos, that was kind of a gross egg. watched a couple of videos and it seems like what I need to be doing is actually flipping the omelet rather than just trying to like scooch it around in the pan and, and make a mess of the kitchen. So that's going to be the goal here. We're going to get the omelet over on that side and then we're going to flip it around a little, see what happens. Unfortunately, I made a lot of pizza dough last night and didn't realize that I don't actually have any saran wrap in this place. So it's just been rising for like 14 hours, so don't really know what's good with that. Hopefully it still makes okay pizza. That's the problem for another another vlog. Alright, we'll get the heat going. Nice, yeah, ripping hot. Yeah, so the vision here, the vision here, is that I'm going to get this thing nailed, it's going to be a beautiful omelet, and then on that day, when I do the vlog, I'm going to have all of that rice and those onions that that guy has in the video. It's going to be beautiful, I'm going to slice it open, delicious, uh, and Zach will be pretty happy. Tragically, it's a super rainy day here in New York. I look out the window, but I already have the phone wedged underneath the microwave, so maybe I'll show it at the end. But it means no skating for me, which additionally means that exactly this moment is probably the most exciting part of my day, which is kind of sad. Perfect. Oil's hot. Right. Gonna get that plate out. Okay, yeah, so bundling the omelet over on one side. I really like the, the intro to the omelet yesterday. You know, we got it all like over there and, and things were looking good. Uh, the, the tragic downfall was trying to like squirm it over and just like tossing it onto the burner. Okay, yep, yeah, it's spinning. That's pretty hot. So here we go. Come in. You know, I'm not actually convinced this pan was hot enough. I think there was some water in there. So, yeah, we've got an excuse for failure. That's nice Good to have. Hmm. You know, this is looking a little bit soupy. Well, we'll just hold it like this and hope. Because yesterday when I poured it in, it like foamed and set immediately, so I'm pretty sure I was just reacting to the water bubbling in the pan. Yeah. Okay, okay. We're still, we're kind of in it still. Oh god, I hope this pan isn't turning into a stick pan. It's been non-stick for so long. Also, I seem to be breaking my omelet every time I do that. They don't break their omelets. I guess that's why they're pros and I'm not. Okay, so now we just do a little one of these. Yeah, okay. Still broke it, but that's okay. So now the guy in the video, he did a little flip. So started off like this and then one of... Oh, God. Okay. Can't flinch. Can't flinch in the face of adversity. So tuck it over. There we go, right on the side. And then with full commitment, we just do one of... Uh, go flip. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the shape is kind of right, you know, it's like got that oval. Um, I think he flipped it like twice in his. Okay, we'll get that trans. All right, little cut in the video there. I accidentally turned it off, but you didn't miss a thing. There we go. Almost out. Burner off. Get that trusty knife, and let's see what's inside of this. So this is overcooked. Um, yeah, I think I, I, I fiddled around with it a little bit too much. Didn't really have the pan hot enough to start. But 
something was learned. Um, it was progress, just maybe not in the direction we expected. <laughs>